Hey guys, what is going on? Uh, for those of you new to the channel, welcome. And for those that are returning, uh, well, first of all, thank you for watching all the other videos I've uh, been posting, and thank you for the continued support. Uh, so, as you can tell, we are starting a new Let's Play, and as the title of the video suggests, um is the next installment in the Dragon Ball Z Budokai series. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, which is arguably one of the best, if not the best. It's kind of a toss-up between this and Budokai Tenkaichi 3, of which one is the uh, top dog in the series. Now, bear with me, because it has been quite a while since I have uh, played this game. Controls are pretty similar to that of Budokai and Budokai 2, but I do believe they made some, uh, some adjustments. Watch a cool intro here. Uh, one of the things, too, so when they remade or did the uh, re HD remasters for PS3, they only did the remasters for Budokai and Budokai 3. However, with the uh, Budokai 3 remaster, they did actually change a majority of the music because of, uh, and hopefully I don't get dinged for it, but the majority of the music was changed due to copyright issues, and they could not get the uh, licensing to reuse it for the, uh, for the remake. So, the big difference between this one and the HD remaster is that most of the game music is completely different. As you can tell, we got a couple new characters showing up here with uh, Gogeta and Broly. There are a slew of other characters that will make appearances as well. See if it kind of shows any of them up. And right there you can see, just like Budokai 2, this one takes another step further in the series, diving into Dragon Ball GT. Main screen kind of looks similar to that of uh, Budokai 2. Game. So I'll obviously we don't have any game data okay. here, so we will create a file. Don't know if we get any extras for having Budokai and Budokai 2 saves on here. And yes we do, we get the silver membership card to start off, and Bibby's pot, and we get Bardock. Hey, it's me, Goku! So which are you going to play? You'll get stronger as you fly all over the world. Alright, so we have pretty much the same the concept of... You'll get stronger as you fly all over the world, battling powerful um, opponents. As we did with the uh, Budokai 2 series, we have Dragon Universe, Dueling, World Tournament, Practice, Skill Editing, and Options. So if you go to Skill Editing, no player 1, this gives you a percentage of how many skills we've unlocked. Uh, you can go to Skill Shop, buy some with some uh, Zenny, which we have none. And we have a new uh, Sales Clerk launch so basically i think depending on what version of launch you get uh depends on what items are available to you right now we're not going to even buy any skills uh if we go to the skill list so bibby's pot hmm. so when we equip that item skill then it just gives us a random effect hmm. And then, like I said, we get the silver membership card off the rip, so we can buy more expensive skills. Uh, we have a couple more world tournaments there. We got the planes. We got, uh, we got, uh, got, the, got Bardock over here. So we'll go ahead and back out. And I guess uh, we will dive right into Dragon Universe. Let's start again. So we have new 
This one's set up a little bit different than both Budokai and Budokai 2, or I, I should say quite a bit different. So you have a reset character option, which we'll uh, kind of get into that a little bit later down the road. You have a continue, which we can't do. Uh, bonus. Nothing in the bonus right now. So one thing we can do is a new story. Now if you look here, So looking here, you have multiple characters at your disposal to start off. So you have Goku, Go Kid Gohan, Krillin, Piccolo, Tien, and Yamcha. And then as we unlock more characters, uh, we will unlock the ability to use them in a story mode. So with the story mode, you can see that you can actually level up your characters. Uh, the higher the level, uh, you can add um, abilities to their health, key, attack, guard, arts, ability, and calm. Um, so this is more of like an RPG-ish type of uh, story mode. Which is a pretty nice uh, change of pace, I should say. So, um... So I think what we should do is we could start with Goku's story, but that one does take a long stop anybody. Um, how about we change it up a little bit and use Goku's story for last. So let's start with Yamcha actually. Get some uh, Yamcha action in here. Long, long ago. Goku had many adventures while searching for the seven magic Dragon Balls. With his trusted friends by his side, Goku successfully battled many powerful foes. Until... The Earth was attacked by a mysterious warrior race, and so, a new battle begins. So as you can see, this one also starts off with the uh, Saiyan Saga. But it'll show it from Yamcha's point of view. And we unlock Kamehameha for Yamcha. So, as you can see here, uh, the move list kind of works the same as the previous Budokai games. And the biggest difference is we actually have an open world that we can utilize. So, I don't. Oops. That gives us the move list there. So pressing R1 gives us this focus. See how we have uh, like mystery. So as you go across the map, you have like mystery areas that you can check out. Maybe a battle, might be new skills. Right now we just got the uh, dragon radar. So with the dragon radar, if we press uh, triangle. So triangle gives us the mini map and also gives us the uh, dragon radar here. So we can if we hold down L1 and kind of take a journey around the earth. We can see if we can locate a dragon ball or any other areas that we may want to visit. But if you use triangle, so the red dot is where we want to go to continue the story. 
So any other area that you can visit besides that red dot, maybe a special boss, might be some training. As you can see here, we found uh, found Krillin. We're going to do a little spar match without actually fighting him, it seems like. Or maybe we will. Nope, we just automatically get a level up. So now we have two Z points that we can use. So we'll put one for tag, we'll put one for arts. Alright. Oh, there's another question mark there. Where was that one at? Ah, more planes. Oh, I found a... Uh... Oh, I found a pissed off Palma. There's another area that we could visit. Come on. The other problem is when you're zooming around, it's hard to backtrack and find the area that you may or may not have missed. Let's go West City, actually. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, we retrieve a new skill. Mysterious Vest. So, start button allows us to edit our skills. Oops. Uh, we'll just go with Mysterious Vest. Get some, uh, little bit of defense boost there. Oh, there's a Dragon Ball. Definitely going to be taking that. So obviously you collect all seven Dragon Balls throughout the story, and you can summon Shrek. Travel around just to see if I can track down another uh another Dragon Ball. So, oh, there's a mystery one. Oop. Make sure that's not where we need to go. It is not. Yeah, we get a new skill, Gray Skill, Silver Membership Card, which we already got. Oh, that was kind of pointless. Uh, looks like we may have retrieved all the uh, Dragon Balls at this post. So, when you start the story, depending on which stage you're in, right now we're in the Saiyan Saga, um, you only have so many uh, Dragon Balls you can unlock for each part of the story. So in order to get more, then we would have to advance the story and look for them again. and a sparring session in. And we unlock Wolf Fang Fist. So we will go ahead and add that to our arsenal. Tommy's Lookout looks to be where we need to go. Oh, 
automatically get another level there. Go for ability. Alright, so we're on to the next, uh, next part of Saiyan Saga here. Let's see if I can find that question mark area. Ooh, 5,000 I will take it. Make sure, just double, triple, quadruple check. We did not miss another Dragon Ball. Oh, there is one more. So I will gladly take that. Can't remember. I used to have this game like memorized, like the back of my hand, how many, uh, Dragon Balls each character would hit. Oh, let's do it again. Yeah, how many Dragon Balls you get in each part of the story for each uh, each character. Where to find them at. Uh, where to go to unlock certain battles, but honestly it's been like years since I played this game, so I am definitely a little rusty. Well, I'm thinking we have found all that can be offered here, so let's go ahead and go to planes. I'll handle this. No, Krillin, you've already been wished back once. It won't work a second time. Leave it to me. I've got a couple special moves that'll fry these guys in no time. Oh, we got a new move. Spirit Ball Attack. So it gives us the opportunity to add that skill. So we shall. And I'm gonna go for it again. I got this one. I'll show them that we mean business. Come on! Alright. First actual battle. Oh, I can't be defensive. Hey! And you see the uh, health bars got a little updated, the key gauge also got a little updated. Animations definitely got updated. Let's see what kind of moves we have here, so... Uh, full frame fist is going to be a bit easier because... Oops. Yeah, so a lot of these moves, they added the uh, backwards E command to uh, to them to make them easier to pull off. Uh, we also have Spirit Ball Attack. Oh, um, I was... Alright, let's try that again. Definitely was not expecting that. Forgot they had self destruct for the side of here. Uh, then they added like a burst mode too, so you can see I have like a little increased attack, but since the uh, key gauge runs out here, here. 
Start breaking your analog stick. Nope, I ain't falling for it. Self destruct on yourself. Uh, as you can see too, you can also like do a burst thing for the uh, for the key blast, which is kind of cool. All right, so we gain 352 experience. No level up though. wasn't as strong as you thought, huh? <laughs> oh, we're right, at the part where Vegeta steps in. That was quick. Oh, well, technically, he never really fought Raditz, so... Having successfully fended off the well, Saiyan that was it for uh, Yamcha's uh, spare Vegeta's life. Saiyan Saga adventure. Mark my words, you'll pay for this, Kakarot. You and all of your friends. Krillin, Gohan, and Bulma travel to Namek in the hopes of reviving their fallen friends. Alright, we will go ahead and save the game here. And we will continue. Once there, they confront the evil Frieza, who is also searching for the Dragon Balls. Helpless against Frieza's might, they have no choice but to join forces with Vegeta. Meanwhile, Goku has healed and is headed for Namek in a ship built by Bulma's father. His efforts to recover the Dragon Balls frustrated, Frieza summons the Ginyu Force. Can young Gohan survive against the Ginyu Force and Frieza? Will Goku make it in time? Gohan and the others return safely to Earth, thanks to the Namekian well, Dragon Ball. That's the end of the uh, Namek saga already. However, Goku remains on Namek to resolve things with Frieza. The battle is so intense that the planet itself begins to crumble. Thinking there was no way Goku could have survived, Bulma tries to wish him back to life. However, the wish is refused. Goku survived and he relays a message that he will return by himself. With everyone alive again, Gohan waits impatiently for his father's return. Almost a year has passed since Goku's friends learned of his survival. Suddenly, a terrible power is felt approaching Earth, Frieza. And without Goku to save it, the Earth appears to be doomed. However, a mysterious youth appears and makes short work of Frieza. When Goku returns, the youth claims to be the son of Bulma and Vegeta from the future. He warns them of a looming threat, deadly androids. 
that will appear in three years' time. All right, and we are back with Yamcha after we completely skip the uh, Namekian Saga. All right, so we still retain the Dragon Radar. Um, well, after all that, I think we will probably just end the episode here. Next time, we will, uh, we will use Yamcha to track down the androids and find some more, uh, Dragon Balls. Hey, there's Dragon Ball right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and just snag this guy before we, uh, end the episode. End it on a high note. So Dragon Ball number three. Alright, well, with that, I will see you guys in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. Hope you guys enjoy the series, and I will see you guys later.